Hi there. The solution of an equation is usually a number or a set of numbers. The solution of a differential equation is a function. To check whether a function is the solution of a differential equation, you just plug it into the equation and check whether both sides balance. For instance, for the differential equation y prime equals cosine of x, the function y is the sine of x is a solution. Namely, the derivative of sine x equals cosine of x. In fact, you can see that for this easy equation, each solution is of the form yx equals sine of x plus c, where c is a constant that can be chosen arbitrarily. This set of all solutions is called the general solution. The equation y prime equals 2y is slightly more difficult, since it contains both y and y prime. Do you immediately see a function y is fx that satisfies this equation? In class, the first answer that often comes up is y is x squared. Do you see that this is not a solution? Well, if you substitute this function into the differential equation, it leads to the equation 2x equals 2x squared, which is certainly false, isn't it? As a function, 2 times x is not the same as 2 times x squared. Well then, if y is x squared doesn't do the job, which function does? The exponential function comes in handy here. The derivative of e to the power 2x equals 2 times e to the power 2x. So this is indeed a function for which the derivative equals twice the function itself. Do you see how you can vary this function to find other solutions? In this case, adding a constant c doesn't work. The derivative of e to the 2x plus 5 equals 2 times e to the 2x. And this is not equal to 2 times e to the 2x plus 5. No, for this equation, multiples of the solution e to the power 2x provide more solutions. The derivative of c times e to the 2x equals 2 times c times e to the 2x. In fact, all solutions are of this form. So the general solution is y equals c times e to the 2x for an arbitrary c. In this case, it is not immediately clear that these are indeed all solutions, so I'm afraid you have to believe me on my brown eyes when I tell you that they are. This way of guessing a solution won't always work. Moreover, there isn't a solution method that works for every differential equation, like there is an ABC formula that works for any quadratic equation. You may think this is a pity, but I would rather say that this makes the search for solutions interesting. For differential equations of a specific type, there sometimes does exist a solution method. And one of these types is the so-called separable differential equation. A representative example is given by the differential equation y prime equals 2x divided by y. Here, it is not so easy to sort of guess a solution. Or do you see one? Note that it can be rewritten as y prime equals 2x times 1 over y, and also as y times y prime equals 2x. Both are instances of so-called separable differential equations. These are equations y prime equals f of x and y, where the right-hand side can be factored as on the slide. Equivalently, they can be put in the special form h of y, a function of y, times y prime, equals g of x, a form in which the variables are separated. Note that the left-hand side contains x implicitly. y is in fact y of x. Time to look at the example. To make the method clear, I have made the x explicit. y of x times y prime of x has to be e equal to 2x. 
The route to the solution of an equation of this form is simply to integrate both sides with respect to x. For the integral on the left, you can use the substitution method and rewrite it as the integral of yx dyx. Now perform the two simple integrations and you find that the half y squared equals x squared plus c, the implicit solution. In this case, it can be rewritten in the explicit form y equals plus or minus the square root of 2x squared plus 2c. Of course, you can check that the solutions make sense. Using the chain rule and some rewriting, you will find that the derivative of yx is the square root of 2x squared plus 2c becomes 2x over the square root of 2x squared plus 2c, and this is indeed equal to 2x over y. Likewise for the solutions with a minus sign. Often, People use this method of separating and integrating to solve a separable differential equation without making the x explicit. To conclude, I'll show you how this works for the second of the earlier examples. Note that y prime equals 2y is a separable differential equation. You can rewrite it into the form 1 over y times dy dx equals 2. Of course, division by y is allowed only if y is not equal to zero. So before we divide, we have to exclude y is zero. In fact, this constant function with value zero is a solution of the original equation y prime equals 2y. The two steps leading to the equation with the two integrals may at first sight seem a bit like hocus pocus. In fact, what I do is act as if the differential, e differential quotient dy dx is just a normal quotient. The remaining steps to the general solution, y equals c times e to 2x, which is the same as before, I leave to you. Please do. Enough for today. Goodbye.